so we have a pay, um, event type name here as a dependency between those two modules and yeah but it doesn't need to be a, a source code dependency that will make you comp like reference one module from the other you don't need to import event types to be able to function right so it's not a source code dependency because it can hard code the type name here and it should work right without even loading types this this uh, uh, triggers uh, in, in, in my mind a question here how we can consider specific a requirement as a dependency or not how we how we can decide here because i uh, i assume when i try to uh, uh, implement this task and, and uh, build it that uh, i have to depend on um, even type name and we we uh, uh, and, and when we uh, describe uh, here the situation uh, in more details no, there's no dependency or or it have no dependency between these two modules so uh, how, how i can decide as as a uh, as a developer what's the dependency between modules and what's not this so, is a side question <laughs> yeah that's a good one so source code dependency is for example if you pass here the event type It. You cannot compile this module if you don't import this other module. And then you create a dependency here, right? Because you have a dependency on a type defined in another module. So you need to import that other module. You need to bring the module into your binary. Make sense? And yeah. when you cannot compile code because you don't have another module, you need to import it. That's a source code dependency. You can only Compile that if you have the source code available. That's a source code dependency. Makes sense. Okay, so you 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 said that this is not a source code dependency. So uh, uh, no, this is right here. It is because it's depending on a type defined in another module. So there's a source code dependency on this event type. You have to type import event types. Otherwise, it doesn't compile. You are in the event listings module. Yes, and that's that's the case. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so but we, we agree. <laughs> yes, but if you just define this, this entry point as a string, you already have access to the string in the Swift standard library, right? Yes. So sense. there is no source code dependency between the event listing and the event types modules. Now you depend on this type name here. But nothing stops you from just passing a hard code value here, hard coded value, right? You could just call something like make a list and type name uh, sports. So you can run this project without the other one. They are isolated. So there's no source code dependency. In your project, there is an order dependency of, of events. First, you need to load one, then you need to load the other because you need to first get the list. But there's no source code dependency. And when, I'm, when I say dependency, when in a context of talking about modular design, I'm talking about source code dependency. Yes. So there are other types of dependency, you, you mean. Uh, this is not source code dependency, so I can't... Co I can compile event listing module without uh, need to import event type. Uh, am I, yes. am I uh, understand right? Okay. Yes. So 99.9% .9 of the time when you hear me saying dependency, I mean yeah. source code dependency. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Referencing information. Another type. Yeah. But uh, if I may hear, I, I think, the, like, correct me if I'm wrong, you're asking basically, how can you end up knowing that you should ask for a string instead of the event type in your event listings module? Like, how, how do you get the wisdom, you know, like to, to, to decide on that, right? Because conceptually you say, oh, okay, I have an event, an event has many listings, so it's one to many, so, you know, there's a dependency there. So th this happens with experience uh, and becoming aware of 
what sort of types and what what sort of properties of those types you're using you know what sort of apis you're using so for example if you are in the event listing you're importing the event type you know and you're using the name or the url of that event type you don't need the event type you just need the data of the event type right which is the string or the url so this is your actual dependency there it's the string or the url okay uh, and and i think we can we can uh, uh, eliminate this dependency by making things abstracted and and uh... yeah but data all, all already offers an abstraction right like a string is already an abstraction because I mean, an abstraction. You 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 get it through the language, right? Yeah. So there is a benefit of using the event type here. Benefit of that now you have strong type guarantees that you're not going to pass any string. But you have a source code dependency, so there is no one answer that will solve all the problems. If you want to eliminate source code dependency, then you would look for a more abstract solution, depending on a more open type like string. But then you need to be aware that people may pass any string here. They could pass here like anything, for example. It would compile just fine. But if you set the event type, it can only pass an event type. OK. Right? So you need to make those decisions based on the problem you're trying to solve. Because those two things are, they are acceptable depending on what you're trying to achieve. If you want to prevent from passing wrong type names, then you pass the model because you can guarantee a compiled time that you're actually passing an event type and that you will use that name of the event type. But if you open this to a string, you can pass anything. It could be like completely bogus data. Like <laughs> Right, so it depends what you're trying to achieve as well. So, and then if you start thinking, actually, I want the strong type guarantees there, so maybe they should all be in one module only, like an events module, because like if those features are tightly coupled already, they can only work together. Why not keep them together? Things that change together should be together. Okay. Uh... So should I make these two modules in the same module? So uh, it was a wrong decision that I separate and decouple th those modules. You, you, you mean that? It could be. If they, those features are already like, they complement each other. They are part of the same feature pretty much is not they're not separate features if you define them as separate features and you want to be able to reuse them in separate applications then maybe they should be separate but if you're like no they are tightly coupled they, those features can only work together and they will change together because they come from the same back end then maybe they should be together because they will always change together they should be developed and composed together they will simplify development because if they change together and they are in the same module it's easy to change them to compose them Right. If you separate them in modules now and you want to keep them decoupled, then you need to make decisions like using strings rather than types, than strong types. But if they are together here, you have no penalty for doing this, right? Yeah, that makes sense. So it all depends on the case. So if those features are together, maybe they should be together instead of separate modules. You will simplify as well the, the caching, right? Yeah. You can cache them together. So they're both valid solutions. I think in this case, it, it could be together. From complexity uh, perspective here, does it make sense to uh, make both modules in the same uh, uh, module to eliminate uh, dependency, but this may um, lead to more complex while managing these uh, these modules. I I I, uh, I think I it can be more complex to separate them because now we have two independent modules. 
that need to be composed at some point, right? Okay. So what do you mean by complexity in this case? Complexity, I mean, uh, I uh, need to manage two different things in the same module. Um, so not a clear separation and things getting out of hand. Is this what you mean? Yes. And also taking consideration that maybe I need to uh, reuse one of these features in another project. Yeah, in this yeah. case, you will separate them. You know, <laughs> exactly. if you need if to, that's, that's why it depends on the case. If you need to separate them, and I want to be able to show lists of events without actually loading the event types. Fantastic. Then that's you separate it. them. Yes. 